Welcome, tell us a bit about yourself. My name is Johan Rengqvist and I work at Massive Entertainment as a tools programmer. What does a tools programmer do? I talk to designers, artists and technical artists and try to uh, try to make their wishes come true. Uh, I try to give them the tools that they need in order to make the game as good as possible. What's the best part about your job? I think the best part is that I am able to work with truly, truly passionate people who really care about what they do and it's important that the end result is of a super high quality and at the same time I get the opportunity to have some very advanced technical challenges and that's very appealing for me. What inspired you to start working with games? Well, I've been playing games my entire life and at one point I decided to make an alteration in my career path. So I, I wanted to both have something that was more technically challenging and at the same time I wanted to sort of try to see if I could uh, use my passion for games and see if I could find work in that industry. And I did. So how did you get your first job in the industry? As a part of my education, I had an, a part that was an internship and I applied for an internship at Massive Entertainment and I was, I was uh, lucky enough, or I, I wouldn't say lucky, I was good enough to get uh, a spot. So I did my internship and after that I was offered a position. Now that you work with games, uh, is it like you expected? Both yes and no. It is extremely technically challenging. The people are as as passionate as I wanted. But I, I think there are a few important aspects to keep in mind. I, I think it's important to, to realize that there's a big difference between loving to play games and loving to develop games. There, there's a contrast and you have to be aware of, of the differences. To work with games, it requires you to be no matter what field you're in, you have to be technically very competent. Even as an artist or some, someone that doesn't work with code, for instance, you still have to know the technical limitations so that you can deliver the best results possible. Uh, what games inspired you to start working with games? I, I don't have a good answer to say this specific games. I've played so many time, types of games my entire life, so it, it's it's a it's a wider assortment of games. So, yes. do you have any uh, advice to spe people who want to get into game making? Yes, yes, I do. Um, if you're passionate about games, then go for it by all means. But be aware that it's. It's not just playing games, it's really hard work and you have to be prepared to, uh, to really focus and get very proficient at the technical aspects as well. Okay, well, thank you. Thank you.